How's it going everyone, it's Javi from Weather Spongebob 1000 and in this video we're going to forecast when you should experience your first snowfall in each region in the United States. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather -like content. So let's begin by taking a look at the northern Midwest where you typically do receive your first snowfall a little bit earlier than the rest of the United States. And you see that as early as September in the higher elevations of the Rocky Mountains, you should see your first snowfall as of course as you get higher into the upper levels of the atmosphere the temperature does decrease as a result of a lack of density as you move further upwards so as a result your first snowfall should be the earliest out of the entirety of the lower 48 of the united states and i'd say it'll be more on the early portion of september since a lot of the northern midwest is expected to receive a cooler than average fall this year since we're gonna um experience la nina type conditions which should bring a prevailing pacific jet stream to move through which will bring a lot of troughs that will of course bring a lot of arctic air behind it and that should decrease the temperature enough to where you should receive snowfall a little bit earlier not only for the higher elevations of the rocky mountains but for the entirety of the northern midwest as well where if i were to extend further into october the area where you should experience your first snowfall in october is a little bit larger than what you typically see on average as typically the only areas that receive their first snowfall in october is right around like i said the rocky mountain um region but you see that i'm extending the first the areas to receive their first snowfall in october further eastward where i'm expecting the northern midwest to receive their first snowfall right around the um, I'm right around the October time frame and even the extreme northeastern portion of Maine which is earlier than what when you typically do experience your first snowfall which is more so right around early November and by the way this forecast map represents um, represents at least measurable snowfall so this does not include just snowfall that doesn't accumulate on the surface so it is easily possible you do receive your first snowfall earlier than this this is just this is just in terms of measurable snowfall you are um your first measurable snowfall you should experience this fall or winter for the united states and you see just south of october um we do see a large area where you should experience your first snowfall right around early november and it is larger than what you typically experience um than what you typically see in the united states because of course i'm expecting that um this this fall to be a little a lot colder than average for the northern midwest so that will enhance the chances of your first snowfall moving a little bit first southward and extending over a larger area for the early for the those in and along the early november um, time frame when it comes to experiencing your first snowfall where this includes cities such as Minneapolis this includes Green Bay Wisconsin and the northern portion of Michigan as well as the northwestern portion of the northeast where you typically do receive the coldest temperatures out of the entirety of the northeast since you guys are pretty far from the Atlantic Ocean to really um, feel the effects of the of a warmer atlantic ocean to the temperature so as a result you should expect your first snowfall right around early november for the northwestern portion of the northeast and the northern portion of the midwest and since the northern midwest by the way isn't in a drought right now and a lot of the united states right now is currently experiencing drought like conditions with with a high amount of heat it's more likely that all that air will converge or sink or um um yeah would pretty much converge right around the midwest since this is the only area where you guys aren't experiencing a drought and so we should see a lot of convergence right around the pacific northwest and the midwest for a lot of troughs to move through and as a result the a higher possibility of snowfall with the amount of precipitation that's expected to move through as well as a pronounced jet stream dip that's induced by la nina a La Nina type pattern which is expected to build into this fall and into the early winter as well now um, if I were to continue to move forward taking a look at the late November time frame we do see that it includes a much larger area of the United States where now a lot of the Pacific Northwest at this point 
is in, um, does experience their first is expected to experience their first snowfall right around the late November time frame. The northern portions of Nevada, portions of Utah, Colorado, the northern portions of New Mexico, just north of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we do see that um, right around Chicago and Detroit. I think you guys should experience their first snowfall right around late November, which is around average for those cities, and you see that a large portion of the um, of the northeast at this point should experience their first snowfall by late november pretty much just to the northwest of the interstate 95 corridor while for the interstate 95 corridor city specifically i am expecting you guys to experience their first snowfall right around early december which is around average for um for um those cities and while i am expecting a uh, much snowier and colder than the average winter for the northeast at this time i still do expect the first snowfall to be a little bit later than what the than what um the winter forecast suggests for you guys that um where you guys are expecting a colder and snowier than the average winter because at this point the uh, large portion of the northeast is under drought like conditions and is experiencing temperatures well above average and i do expect that to continue into the fall months along with the fact that the sea surf temperatures just off northeast coast are much warmer than average so it's gonna take a little bit of time for conditions to adjust to a more quarter and potentially snowier than average winter for the coastal northeast so i still do expect the um you guys to receive your first snowfall right around average for this time of the year but i would not i definitely wouldn't be surprised if it does happen a little bit earlier potentially as early as late november for the interstate 95 corridor cities and you see that just uh, south of it you um you guys should experience your first snowfall late december this does include um a large this includes a large portion of new mexico at this time in arizona however for the southern states more sickly the southwestern portion of the united states the um, southwestern portions of the united states this area is a little bit further northward than what you'd expect so i'd expect your first snowfall to be a lot later than what you typically expect for a southwestern portion of the united states because you guys currently are under a severe drought and it will only be compounded by the fact that we're expecting a la nina for the fall and early winter months which will lead to even more drier than average conditions and warmer than average conditions throughout the southwestern portion of the united states so i do expect your first snowfall to be a lot later than what you typically expect for the southwestern united states but i still do expect snowfall to eventually come right around the late december or potentially um january to february time frame for the southwestern united states just know that it should be a little bit later than average since this is expected to be a warmer and drier than average winter for you guys and i don't expect that to change um within the next couple months and then um if we were to move to the southeast this uh, um, these are the areas where i'm expecting your first snowfall to be somewhere in between january and february this includes a large portion of north carolina virginia beach um, charlotte north carolina this includes nashville as well memphis the northern portion of arkansas and oklahoma and even extending to texas however this area where you should experience your first snowfall in between january and february is a little bit further northward because typically this area is goes as far south as dallas texas but you see that dallas texas is completely out of the map when it comes to first snowfall as i do think it's very well possible that in terms of measurable snowfall um, the northern portion of texas could miss out and a lot of southeast could miss out as well since uh, you since it is expected to be a warmer winter for a lot of the southern united states especially the southwestern portion of the united states since it's um you guys currently are in a severe drought and it's going to be very difficult for that to go away within the next couple months even headed into this winter so i do expect a large um for the areas further southward if um, there is a possibility you might not experience snow at all even though it you typically do during a winter time so that's something something to keep in mind something to potentially be excited about if you don't necessarily like the snow but something that you may not like if you do like the snow but 
Um, to keep in mind, this is just a forecast, so there's still that possibility we could see snow move far southward, but at this point, it's a little bit less likely since it is actually going to be a warmer than average winter for you guys in the southern United States. So this is my first snowfall forecast for the entire United States for the northern Midwest as well as um, portions of the northern Great Lakes and the Pacific Northwest. You should experience your first snowfall a little bit earlier than what you typically expect. However, for the southern United States, pretty much anywhere that's just south, let's say, of the interstate 40 corridor or maybe even a little bit north than that anywhere south of washington dc i do expect your first snowfall to be a little bit later since it is expected to be warmer further southward and a little bit drier further southward than average this winter so make sure to pay close attention to that and here's my winter forecast which i did make around two months ago i will be updating you guys within the next few days when it comes to the specific winter forecast so make sure to stay tuned with that but in terms of how it's looking right now this is at least around ballpark i will be making changes in my next winter forecast which like i said should come within the next few days so stay tuned but you see that it's actually going to be much colder for a lot of the northern united states and much warmer for the southern united states so as a result this first snowfall um, forecast pretty much represents what is expected to go on this winter so make sure to keep that in mind that the northern united states your first snowfall should be a little bit earlier or maybe closer to average right around the northeast where it is expected to be a little bit warmer this fall but a little but um but your first snowfall should be later than average for a southward or you might not experience snowfall at all this winter in areas even in areas where you typically do receive snowfall so make sure to keep that in mind throughout the united states head into this winter but anyways guys i thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content and i hope you guys all have a great day